Sticking with one and dones, I want to check in on Markel Fultz as the Sixers take on the Knicks. First quarter, Fultz making his jumper. Here we go. This jumper. Form looks good, Paul. Good. Looks good. Really good. I mean, he looks like he hasn't missed a beat. Right? Uh, and then, ooh, the field, yep, man. collided with Joel Embiid right here. Look at that. Oh. That's not what you want to do in your second game back. Now, Joel <laughs> left the game with a facial contusion. He's out for the night. We have to hope that he will be back. But as we saw with Kevin Love last night, you now have to evaluate for him for a concussion. So, I don't know. Paul, we've seen a game and a half of Fultz here. Do you think he makes the Sixers better going in the playoffs? Without a doubt. He gives them a rotational player. And the deeper you are going into the playoffs, you know, that's that's a factor right there. You have a bench in case your stars get into foul trouble. They're young. They're, they're deep with the additions they've made. And you can look at Fultz as an addition. He hasn't been there all year. Exactly right. And now he's coming in and showing that you can use him in the playoffs. He's showing he can be rotational. He can get to the basket. He can make plays. He's a guard that can play off the ball, especially when you have a guy like Ben Simmons. And if he spent all this time getting that jumper right, <laughs> right. watch out. You know, yeah. he could be an X factor for them in the playoffs. Yeah, you add a talent like that this late in the season, you don't know he's a wild card. And I just look at him, I just know when you start moving into the playoffs, you need playmaking. And you need it everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the more you can add to your rotation, the better. Just like he said, he's a, he's a big time rotation player from that standpoint because he's a talent. And we just don't know what he can do. He might mess around and win a game for him in the playoffs because he's that kind of talent. I mean, like, it's the tiniest of sample sizes so far, but his oh, assist numbers are good. Yep. Coach, how would you sort of weigh what he can bring you versus the minutes that T.J. McConnell might bring you with his experience, but obviously different body type and different different. Yeah, I think that's where Brett Brown is going to step in and, and manage that. You know, because both guys can really contribute. Obviously, TJ can really defend. He picks you up full court. He's a bulldog. Um, he gets everybody involved. He organizes the group. Uh, but at the same time, there's things that this kid Fultz can do that TJ can't do. And what? he can bring a lot to the table from that standpoint. Yeah, he has more size. So he's not, he, you don't have to play him at the point guard position. Play him together. He can play the two guard. He can guard. Mm -hmm. perimeter players and that's the versatility he brings to that team that will be interesting to see this is a good problem to have Absolutely. that's what we call that Derek favors might soon earn the nickname mr. fourth quarter in his last 12 games he has made more than 81 percent